Hey there, Louis Yacobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can approve a request in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Lastly, if you like my content, please head over to my website and consider joining my mailing list where you'll receive all of my latest video and written tutorials in my monthly newsletter. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now there are a few different ways that you can approve requests in ServiceNow. The first way that you can do it is from the ServiceNow backend. So if you can access this screen on ServiceNow where you see this filter navigator, this is referred to as the ServiceNow backend. What you want to do is you want to search for approvals in the filter navigator and you want to click on my approvals under the self-service menu group. Now I'll go ahead and click on this and this is going to display a list of the records that have been routed to you for approval. So you can see here that I have two records assigned to me that are awaiting approval. Now I'll go ahead and click into one of these records now you can see here that I have the option to approve or reject this record. Now the top of this form is the actual approval record that will be created when you action this approval request. And if I scroll down, I can actually see the record that approval is being sought for. In this case, this is a custom app that was built to track requests to process invoices. So I can see all of the information on this record here. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click approve. And you can see here the status of this record has changed. And if I click back into it, you can also see the activities here. So you can see the audit trail showing that the state was updated from requested to approved. And you can also see the status field has updated to approved as well. And you can see that the approve and reject buttons here are no longer visible. So that's the first way that you can approve records in ServiceNow is through the My Approvals option under the self-service menu group. Now, the next way that you can approve records is through the actual service portal. So I'll just go ahead and refresh my service portal here. Now, this is likely going to look a little bit different from organization to organization as typically different organizations will brand their service portal with their own logo and color theme, et cetera. And sometimes that may also change what you see in the actual menu bar at the top of the screen. And you can see here that I have one approval that is awaiting action. Now, if I go ahead and click on approvals and click on view all approvals, this is going to display a list of records that are awaiting my approval. And you can see here, I have two options, approve and reject. Now, if I just wanna go ahead and click into this record and view details, I can do that. So you can see this invoice requires your approval. And again, I have the option to either approve or reject. Now, again, the service portal is likely to look different from organization to organization. So if you don't have access to a service portal or you don't see an approvals option, at the top of your service portal navigation menu, then you wanna to talk to your IT department, talk to your ServiceNow administrator, and find out where you should be actioning approval requests. Now I'll go ahead and click approve, and you can see here that this record was approved. So that's it, this was just a very quick tutorial showing you where you can go in ServiceNow to approve requests that have been routed to you for action. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.